خدا کا شکر ہے جو ہمیں اسیروں کی طرح گش کراتا ہے اور ہمارے وسیلہ سے اپنے علم کی خوشبو ہر جگہ پھیلاتا ہے مسی یسو کے عظیم بابر کے جلالی نام میں آپ تمام نیشنل نیوز دیکھنے والوں پر خدا کی سلامتی ہو آج سب میں آپ کو ویلکم کرتا ہوں پروگرام خدا کی آواز میں اور آج ہمارے ساتھ خدا کی آواز کو ہم سب تک پہنچائیں گے پاسر ایرل پاسر ایرل کا تعلق ساؤتھ افریقہ سے ہے اور جس طرح سے میں نے ابھی آپ کو بتایا جو میں نے آیت کوٹ کی ہے کہ وہ ہمیں اسیروں کی طرح گش کراتا ہے تاکہ اپنے علم کی خوشبو ہر جگہ پھیلا سکے تو لاسٹ ایئر بھی وہ ہمارے ساتھ اسٹوڈیو میں موجود تھے اور مجھے بہت خوشی ہوئی کہ اس مرتبہ جب وہ دوبارہ انہوں نے وزٹ کیا تو انہوں نے کہا کہ ہم آپ کے اسٹوڈیو میں نیشنل نیوز اسٹوڈیو میں ضرور آئیں گے اور اپنے پیغام کو ریکارڈ کروائیں گے تو میرا دل نہایت خوشی سے ممور ہے کہ آج وہ ہمارے ساتھ ہیں اور خدا ان کی زندہ آواز کو ہم پاس ایرل کے وسیلہ سے سنیں گے تو ابھی وقت ہے کہ ہم خدا ان کی زندہ آواز کو ان کے وسیلہ سے سنیں تھینک یو ہیلو سو گڈ ٹو بی نیشنل ٹی وی اگین لاسٹ شو واز مائی فرسٹ ٹائم سو دس ایئر از مائی سیکنڈ ٹائم اینڈ آئی ایم فرام ساؤتھ افریقہ فرام اے چرچ ان رچرڈ بے کالڈ آؤٹ لک سو دس مارننگ آئی ون انکریج یو آن آن اے ٹاپک کالڈ جوائے کمز ان دا مارننگ So this morning we were sitting at breakfast and I had a picture, it's a very crude picture of, uh, of a lady giving birth, but, uh, but God spoke to me this morning and the scripture that I had came from John 16, reading from verse 20. It says, I tell you the truth, you will weep and mourn over what is going to happen to me, but the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will suddenly turn to a wonderful joy. It will be like a woman suffering the pains of labor when a child is born. Her anguish gives way to joy because she has brought a new baby into the world. So you have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice and no one can rob you of that joy. At that time, you won't need to ask me for anything. I tell you the truth. I will ask the Father directly. You will ask the Father directly and he will grant your request because You use my name. You haven't done this before. Ask using my name and you will receive and you will have abundant joy. So the picture that I had was, I'm thinking of my son being born. And before my son was born, there was much pain and grief. And because before that, uh, we went through a lot because my wife couldn't fall pregnant. And we went through loss of baby. We went through loss of... Uh, a lot, 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 lot of problems for my wife to fall pregnant. But at the end, joy came because a son was born. And, and, this, and this morning, I, encourage you, I want to encourage you this morning that whatever situation that you are in, know that joy comes in the morning. And, and before that, Jesus is talking to, 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 the, to the disciples and he says in John 16, 13, When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he'll tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. So when Jesus went up into heaven, he ascended to heaven. He didn't leave us alone. He left us with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit lives in us, lives in our heart. And we need to understand that God is not far away from us. While walking in Pakistan, I've spoken to some friends and, and they were saying that that God is in the church. But I want to tell you this, I want to tell you that God is not only in the church. God lives in your heart because when Jesus went, he said, he sent the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in you and he's so near. You don't have to, you don't have to uh, worry about that, whether God is hearing you or not. When you pray, God hears your prayer because we, as I read in the scripture, it says in the end, it says, I tell you the truth, You will ask the Father directly and He will grant you your request because you use my name. So whatever you ask the Father using, uh, using the name of Jesus, your, your prayers are answered and know that the Father is there to ca take care of you. He's a loving Father. He loves you much and He won't abandon you because His love is eternal. His love is, 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 is so much that, that you, won't, you won't feel that That, that my father isn't answering. It's, it's not like your earthly father. Sometimes your earthly fathers don't listen to you, don't, don't hear you, but we have a heavenly father, a loving heavenly father that loves you and cares for you. So this, before I close, 
I feel that maybe you are going through something. Maybe you're going through situations in your life that you're not seeing the end of the tunnel. That means you're going through situations and you're thinking that this, this is going to be a continuous uh, the grieving. It's going to be continuous hurting. It's going to be continuous pain. But know that your Heavenly Father listens. He cares for you. And He wants to, he, if you are sick, He wants to heal you. If you're going through some situation that, I'm, I'm thinking of persecution in Yen Pakistan. Know that you have a Heavenly Father that loves you. He's not going to leave you there all the time being persecuted, but He's going to take you out of there because He says that joy comes in the morning. Amen. So before I say bye, I want to pray for those that are grieving. I want to pray for those that are that want healing. And I want to pray for those, especially that I, mean, I went through a situation but that I couldn't have a child, but I want to pray for you this morning. Or whatever time it is, and know that there is a father that is that listen to you, and he wants to heal you. He wants to give you that child that you that you so yearn for. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord. You see that the hearts of everyone that's watching this 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 clip, Lord. I pray, Father, that you undertake for them in a mighty way, Lord. I pray, Father, Father, I see that lady that's yearning to have a child, Lord. I pray, Father, that. You, you give her her heart's desire, Lord. I know that you are a God that will not fail because you haven't failed me. I know that you will just grant her heart's desire and give her the child she's yearning for. I, I, I see those that are being persecuted. I see, I see those that are in the Brooklyn factories. I see those that are, are being persecuted. God is saying that you're not going to be there long. I'm going to take you out. I have taken the people out of out of Egypt into Israel, and I'm going to take you out also, also out of your persecution. Father, I pray, Father, that you see those hearts, Lord, and I pray, Father, that you deliver them, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord. And I pray, Father, for those that are that are ill, Lord, whatever sickness that they have, Lord, I thank you, Father, that you have paid the ultimate price for our healing, and I thank you, Father, that by your stripes they are healed in Jesus' name, Lord. We trust you, Father, for complete healing in Jesus' name. Amen. So keep on trusting God, keep on keeping your eyes focused on Jesus, because He is our God, He is the eternal King. Amen.